the previous video I did attend a reggae party that was near the airport but actually it was more of a house party and I didn't have my phone out to record like that and I will have to make a separate video to inform you guys about safety in Brazil at some point What we're seeing now is the historic center of Sao Luis, which was founded by the French before coming under Portuguese control. So everything you will see throughout this video from now is preserved to its original look back in the 17th century. Now there's a number of preserved historic buildings still standing, not just in Sao Luis, but throughout Brazil. So to some who plan to visit Brazil for the first time, this will be the first thing you notice. Lots of old looking buildings and it's because in Brazil they like to preserve their historical past. Now the only city that I can think of at the moment that is the most modernized is the capital which is Brasilia. Which was planned after it became capital after Rio because Rio was the capital first. And Brasilia is named the city of design. So basically it's a future city in the present. And if you visit Brasilia you will notice that Brasilia has lots of modernization going on compared to other Brazilian cities. So if you're planning visiting Sao Luis, I would recommend visiting the historic center. Just Google historic center Sao Luis and show the taxi driver or just put Centro in the Uber app and, you know, come here to explore. It's lots of things to see. You have restaurants, clothing stores, electronic stores. Everything is here. Plus, you get to take a look back into the past. Now, there is some parts of the historic center that you will see that it becomes residential. So, you know, you got to be aware and be careful of that. You know, you don't want to just be wandering around to somebody's neighborhood taking pictures. That won't be a good idea, especially here in Brazil. So be careful about that. And at some point in the video, I will point that out where the residential area is very close to the historic center. So when you make your plans to come to visit Sao Luis, most definitely I will make sure that you have the historic center on your list of places to visit in Sao Luis. Because it's not that many places to go in Sao Luis anyways. So have the historic center at the top of your list maybe the beach and that's about it in this city you know it's not a huge city with lots of things to do that's why i do recommend visiting the historic center at some point because without visiting the historic center in my opinion is a waste of a trip to sao luis so make sure that is at the top of your list now my first time visiting sao luis I actually stayed walking distance from what you're seeing now, which is the historic center. And I came here like every day to get food, to people watch, just to walk around, just to kill time. And my other visits to Sao Luis, I've stayed near the beach. Now, do I have a preference between staying in the historic center or the beach? In my opinion, first time visiting Sao Luis, stay near the historic center because you have lots of restaurants stores you have more to do versus where i'm staying at now near the beach you really don't have anything else to do besides the beach that's it versus staying here you have lots of things to walk and explore to see so make sure that you visit the historic center when visiting sao luis if you had a choice between the historic center or the beach I would say the historic center because the beach is nothing glamorous but the historic center is just something that's going to be very memorable compared to the beach it's not like you're going to the beach in Rio you know like I said it's not glamorous as a side note slash precaution the stores you're seeing now I think weekdays they close at 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. I forgot and on weekends it varies but my whole point is you have to be cautious when these stores close at nighttime because if you're wandering around this area by yourself or with anyone it doesn't matter i'm pretty sure that you and whoever you with 
you're not able to stop a bullet. Meaning that you can get robbed. So you have to just be in common sense mode. It's nighttime. All these stores are closed. And I'm just walking here by myself. Doing what? Where are you going to? You know, you might as well just get on your phone. Call an Uber. So it can take you directly to wherever you're trying to get to. Versus trying to take shortcuts. And perhaps get robbed or hurt. So you got to keep that in mind. Not just here in Sao Luis. But throughout the whole country of Brazil. And I keep repeating this because every day there's a, a tragic incident that happens with Brazilians. And they're Brazilians. So just imagine you being a foreigner coming here unaware. That means it can happen to you easily. So you got to keep that in your mind. Now when I first came to Sao Luis, this area you're seeing now, I already knew from Rio not to walk in these areas late at night so I already knew so I'm trying to make sure that it doesn't happen to you now when I first visited Rio my first time I didn't know anything so I was just fresh out of the water so everything that I'm saying in my videos I was not doing meaning that I had jewelry on I would walk to different places late at night by myself or with anyone, you know, it didn't matter because I treated Brazil like the US. My eyes didn't open up until, let me see, I think it was my first robbery that I saw, which was, hold on, let me think about this. I visited 2008, so this was like 2009, so this was a year later. You know, I stayed with somebody in a favela and I saw a robbery. And then I saw the cops apprehend this guy and was just beating his ass in the middle of the street in the daytime. And, you know, what did I do? I took out my camera because at this time I didn't have a I think I had a cell phone, but it wasn't a, it wasn't a, a smartphone. So I really couldn't do anything with it. But I had an actual camera that I took out. And was going to record this. And the person that I was staying with, she knocked it out of my hand. You know, she was telling me, you know, don't do that. But I'm just bringing this all up just as a safety concern when you're visiting Sao Luis or any other city you choose to visit in Brazil. So let's get into why and how the French came to the city you're seeing called Sao Luis. We all know Christopher Columbus came to South America and informed Spain of countries basically where people could easily be defeated and you can come to colonize to bring your people your religion and expand expansion equaled money during this time portugal and spain was the two great powers of europe as spain began to expand you also had the portuguese who already was expanding through colonization known as slavery now, they were the first Europeans to start slavery, bringing Africans to Europe, to Portugal, then to South America, to Brazil, known as the transatlantic slave trade. Now, as Brazil expanded in South America, because if you look at the map, they take half of South America. Spain fought the Portuguese because you had expansion that was spilling into the Spanish side of South America, but also, most importantly, you had this other country who wanted in this thing called slavery, which was the French. Now, the Portuguese refused to accept, at this time, it was Napoleon's demands to become, basically, how could I say it, um, a political and economic figure. So what France did was come to South America and claim an island. And this island was Sao Luis. But this island was bordered by nothing but Portuguese states, territory. So to be surrounded and outnumbered by the Portuguese, the French actually, they lost this war 
and they had to move on to another part of South America near Guyana and Suriname, which they called the French Guyana. And there you have the only people in South America, they speak French. I don't want to make this into a history lesson, but, you know, when you travel, you know, uh, geopolitics and history, you just get more interested in it. But between Spain and the Portuguese, when it comes to the damage control of colonization slash slavery, I would say that the Portuguese did the most damage, mainly because with them, it lasted the longest versus any other European power. Or country, you know, the Portuguese was the last to end slavery. So, in my opinion, they did the most damage when it came to slavery. Now, to get back on topic of what I'm doing now and this video is that this is the end of my, I guess you can call, series in Sao Luis. I will be moving on to the next destination. But what I will be doing later on tonight in this video is that I will be going to a movie. And after that, I will say bye-bye to Sao Luis and, like I said, move on to the next adventure. But once you start traveling, as I do, and you go to many cities or states in a country or when you visit just numerous countries and different continents no matter what you start to get influenced by like geographics economics the demographics of that country the politics of that country it just comes by nature you know automatically when i first visited no let me just bring it back when i first started traveling so that would be canada you know i wasn't interested in politics and economics and the demographics you know all i wanted to do was see new people meet new people eat foods i never seen before but like i said once you start traveling to different continents different countries seeing different people different foods you just start getting interested in that automatically you know it just comes by nature so when you do travel to not just Brazil, but to other countries. You got to keep that in mind that wherever you're coming from, the new country that you're in will be totally different. So you have to adjust to that. I'm waiting for my friend to go to this movie theater. And yeah, I am wearing my gold chain, my little gold chain. And as I said in the beginning of the video, you have to know your surroundings. And this is not my first time visiting Sao Luis or the shopping center. And it is very highly unlikely that you will get robbed inside this mall or outside in front. Now, there are some shopping centers I've visited in Brazil that outside is kind of sketchy. But this is not one of the places in Sao Luis that I feel uncomfortable. Now, from leaving Sao Luis, the question is, where will I be going next? Will it be another Brazilian state? Will it be a whole new country? Or will it be me going back home? I don't know, but continue watching to find out.